All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to correctly uh, configure our delete page. Uh, but first thing that I want to do really quick is I want to go ahead and take out these P tags. We don't need those anymore. And let's go ahead and update the page. There it is. Page has been updated. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to our delete underscore page dot PHP. And I want to, uh-oh. It's got to be page right there, redirect to info, okay, id mysql error, no, I used the wrong function, mysql prep, sorry about that, and let's look in the here, down here, so I'm going to save this, and what I want to do now is I want to open up my, let's look at this. Look around. Okay. If you guys are having a uh, a little dilemma with your position showing up like this, I found an error after the last video, and it is uh, I believe it's on our page form page underscore form dot php. I didn't include the closing option tag right here so you're yeah so if your CMS looks like that then you got to include this little bit whoa okay what happened over here where did we go from here okay where did that happen I'm gonna keep right backing it up and it was um This little bit of code right here, echo. It's our variable count. I'll go ahead and put a little brace and our option tag right here because there's our opening option tag with our value. And let's go ahead and reload this now. All right. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's all we needed to do to our delete underscore page. Let's make sure our index is each set to page. This is changed. Am I missing something else? So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and delete our sweet Josh page. So let's go back to edit and this should delete. Delete page. JavaScript pop up. Okay, sweet Josh is now gone. So we have a fully functioning CMS at this point. Except we don't really have a login, and we don't have any images on our on our um, in our root folder. We don't have any images yet, but you can put any images in there and use the same exact code that we used for our information and uh, pages table to source images in there. We might do that later on, but right now I just want to make sure that everything is executing properly. We'll edit this page. Hey guys, we have successfully created dynamic. We'll take off the three exclamations. We'll update that. And let's see if it was, okay, it was deleted there. Okay, so we can add stuff, we can read stuff, we can update stuff, and we can now delete stuff from our CMS. So good luck with this, guys. I'll see you guys in the next.